this little um, control board was keeping the uh, solenoid open when the probe was covered in ice, so it should have turned off. And I'd even gone as far as disconnecting the probe here. Um, and it was still keeping it off. I've turned the power off. Um, slid the, re the board down, and just so I got it down to here, I heard the relay click. So uh, it seemed like it had stuck. So we'll give it another try, but I think really he wants a new wants a new board on there. I'll have to see what I've got on the van. So if they're stuck once it'll probably stick again. Took the probe wires out. Um, basically as soon as you power it up I don't know if this is wired right, you know. Because I can hear that relay clicking after the solenoid. I think we'll take the live wire out in case it's getting a back feed. Something's wired wrong here. Um, we took the live out that board um, it's not the, it's not the relay on the board to switch in that's that's becoming live from somewhere else um, that that contactor pulls in and also the solenoid clicks at the back of the tank and we'll have to trace that wire back see where that goes That's our switch wire for the solenoid. We've traced that down to um, DIN rail at the bottom here, and it goes into number seven. And there's this odd looking black wire in here. Um, Paco always wire their stuff in, in red for um, mains, and white wires is low voltage for the ice bank probes. And that's been dabbed in there, the black wire's been dabbed in the um, time clock. So I think that's somebody's set it up so when the time clock is on, it runs um, purely off the clock. There's no ice bank control on it at all. So uh, we'll, we'll remove this and um, see what happens. back together um, there we go that's shorted out the probe that's the same as if it's in water that's brought that control on we just take it out again you can hear that, hear that click that's on that's off so it should work on the time clock. So if that's off, um, it shouldn't matter whether that probe's shorted or not. So there's, no, there's no power up to that now, it's fell off, off the time clock. a problem to be wired that in for some reason. We've mounted all the ice off the probe and it's it's not starting. Um, and we've shorted out the, the connections to the probe and it's still not starting. Um, and I've had these little switches here. create problems in the past. So it works here. Um, it's a normally open and normally closed. It changes between a 
the small probe and the big probe, depending on how much ice you want to make. Because um, it's only switching about 12 volt DC with no current, <coughs> over time the contacts go bad. So uh, I think that's where the problem is.